Hello, everybody. It's me, Markiplier. Hello, everybody. It's me, Markiplier. Today, we're talking about Kingdom Hearts 4. Hello, and everybody. It's unlike... me, Markiplier. And today, we're talking about Kingdom Hearts. And unlike all those frauds, we're going to be talking about the deeper predictions. We're going to be... We're not just going to be talking about what Disney worlds are going to be in there. We're not going we're not gonna to be talking about the simple shit. No, I want to get down into the dirt. I want to really discuss what could possibly happen in Kingdom Hearts 4. Because you know what? People are really taking for granted just how different this game could be. Don't y'all agree? Yeah, alright. Are you asking us? Yeah. 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 Jeez, you, uh, way to match my energy, <laughs> guys. <laughs> uh, this is Ransom, Carter, and James. And we are the three crazy KH heads in, in, of the Flaccid Ears of the group. So this is going to be... That, no, no explaining anything to anyone. No, none of that. Just straight up, we gonna be talking that talk. I don't know. There might be a little explaining because uh, you two, Cross, my understanding, are not Union Cross experts, unlike myself. Also, Wait, everyone, we, please, you're not Union Cross experts. If you didn't watch Came Game Two, by the way, everyone, please listen to James's new microphone. Yay! We! Yay! Hello. James actually, God, fuck. <laughs> New microphone. Testing. He's not going to be cutting out all the time. Yay! Peak James content. That leads the way for something. What was that? Peak of the microphone? Okay. I, please scream really loud. I want you to do so bad. I know I'll you save won't. it for later. You got, like, it's got to be surprised. Okay, okay. You need to slap the microphone with your hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Enough dawdling. Let's get on to Kingdom Hearts 4. Now listen. Listen. Mm -hmm. oh. The font is different. The font is different. That means to different. me that means so much because the font on the logo has been the goddamn same the entire goddamn time. The only difference being if the K has a long leg or short leg. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the fact that the font is different that we're just an entirely new territory here. I have seen losers LOSERS! Don't add anyone in the comments, I don't want to fight. Mm -hmm. But I have seen people say, You know what, this just shows me that this series isn't for me anymore. It's not what- it turned into something I don't want and now they're sealing the deal. Even the font is different. And I'm like, YOU ARE A COWARD! YOU ARE A COWARD! If you're so ready to fall out of love with a series you've been playing this whole time, then you probably weren't enjoying it to begin with. Yes, God. Yeah. People talking about, oh, oh, Kingdom Hearts 1 was the best one. They had it right. The story was simple and, and they stopped. And, and Kingdom Hearts 2, when, when, when Ansem is actually Xehanort, when he had a fake name. Oh, that was when, that was the downhill. That's when it all started going downhill. Fuck you. I hate <laughs> you if you say that. You're a liar. You're a fraud. I have a lot of feelings about this. I'm sorry. I, I, you haven't made that very clear. Um... <laughs> But like, no, I um, and people going like, oh, they're gonna shove versus thirteen stuff in there. No more. I can't get his salty ass out of here. God, <laughs> he deserves to be salty about what happened. Let him be insane because we are insane. I'm on No More's wild ride and I'm never getting off. Kingdom Hearts has always been the insanity of No More. People trying to take that out, like. I just, you're missing the point. Like, that is the appeal. Are you crazy? But, um, no, I I have a lot more to say beyond the logo, but my only thought of it is I kind of hate the font. I think it looks a little... I think it's TBH. a genuinely worse font. I hate the new logo. I hope it... I it's, still hope it's temporary. I hope it's a temp logo. Yeah. It's, it's very, like, uniform compared to the previous one. Like, it, it does seem kind of more standard i guess than what the previous font was i think it has its own charm though now here's the question is it pr okay assuming this isn't a temporary uh title and that the actual final game will have the logo like that is it just for this game or is it for the re rest of the series or at least the like rest of this arc i feel like it's kind of there to signal the new arc I, like I that agree. this is the new 
This is the new leaf for the series. So Kingdom Hearts 5 will have the same sort of style. I, I believe like 4, 5, and 6 will have this the same style. And then like after yeah. that will be a new font, possibly. Kingdom Hearts. Wow, we got past Kingdom Hearts Infinity War and now we're in the Kane the Conqueror storyline. They should get that. They should get that King actor on here. I'm sure <laughs> he'll do a great job. I... God. Yeah, him and Quentin Flynn. Speaking of <laughs> Marvel, let's discuss the possibility of an Avengers world. No, I don't <laughs> want to talk about that. Not yet, at least. We'll get to that. I okay. I Kingdom Hearts numbered entries has always meant one thing. I think Namora has said this himself, but if the game has one, two, or three on the title, that means it's a Sora, Donald, and Goofy adventure. Right. Does that? Continue. I think yes. that's a genuinely good question. I don't I, know. The, this story seems to be like... It, this story seems to be like it'll be kind of a Sora alone story. Or at least... Um, he's. I feel like he's not going to be with other cast members for a like good portion of this game. I... Now... I'm inclined to agree, but there's other possibities that I think are just as valid. I'll let, sh I'll let you go ahead, James, though. I just had a thought. I just had a realization. Um, so I was about to say, oh, well, they clearly set up 358 Gang for their own side series or, sp or spinoff. They clearly set off the Burst by Sleep for their own side spinoff. So that sort uh, of it's frees up Aqua and Kyrie. Sora, Kyrie, Riku, and Donald Mickey Goofy to be in like this main next game. But then I realized... Uh, and spoilers for all other entries, obviously. Uh, the, um, you, you got Melody of Memory... That is implied all, by all, the all title of, yeah. of this video. Mel Melody of Memory ends with Kyrie being like, I'll go train with Master Aqua. Mm -hmm. But Master Aqua's in the Realm of Darkness, right? I don't I don't know if they came back or if that, there's going to be a spinoff in the Realm of Darkness. Well, remember, but, th they were only so there I'm not to sure. try and find Sora. So now that everyone... Okay. Now well, you could easily have it where, like... It goes to their perspective, and no one can reach them because something attacked them down there. But no, assuming they're back, I, it's possible Kyrie's out of the picture for this next game as like a main character. In which case, it could be a Dream Drop Distance style Sora Riku adventure where you s switch between the two. I mean, yeah. And honestly, I would rather. Um, I'd rather. I'd kind of rather they just don't try with Kyrie for a game rather than what they, we've been getting. Take their time and developer, please. I yeah, like I I it, hmm. I, I, I think three I... was rancid with. Uh, can we just? Would it be a stretch for me to call like Cage Three kind of a misogynistic game? Almost. In it's, some ways, it's, for it's, sure. It's bad. It's really bad. No, it was... Listen, I, I understand it's more nuanced than that, but at least on the surface, like, you know, they set up Aqua to be really strong, but she, like, loses every part, every battle she's in in Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, but she at least She either fights. loses or needs help. She at yeah, least Yeah, of fights. course. And, you know, I, I'll um, give Remind this. At least Kyrie was better in Remind, you know? She gets a banger combo with her Keyblade. She gets a They're banger. Almost... Except, well, I'm not a fan yeah. of her combo finisher every time she does it. She goes, please work! I'm fine with that. It, it just happens it, too much. I, I, it, I, I, I'm, I'm nitpicking here, but To be like... honest, this is the first time she is like, it's the first time she has done anything with that Keyblade. Yeah. No, wait, wait. I, well, I'm, I mean, so... I don't know how much fucking time she spent in the hyperbolic time chamber. Weird plot, D. Weird plot choice by I'm the way <laughs> i'm so stupid i just realized here's what they'll do so and riku both die Kyrie's the main character every attack she does she goes please work for the entirety of kingdom hearts 4 yeah perfect so um I, I i actually would like to make a thematic argument for why i think sora should be on his own for at least most of kh4 go ahead mm -hmm. it's because like think about the type of character Sora has been for the entire series. Mm -hmm. He has been someone who is like always defined by his connections to other people. He has been the thread that ties everyone together. Um, you know, it's like Kingdom Hearts very much kind of does seem to go against the individualist type of hero with Sora and have him be more um, 
I guess of like a team player, more collective, more affiliative, what have you. Right. And so I think that the purpose of Cage Four, the purpose of the ending of Cage Three, and the purpose of Cage Four is that Sora has like built up this strong network of friends. He has like made this gigantic alliance, and he loses it at the end of Cage Three. Mm-hmm. He like basically gets sent to the dead world. And I, I think that KH4, it really sets up KH4 to be a big um, challenge. The big challenge for Sora is having to kind of go back to zero in terms of connections and make his way in this new, strange world, like, completely on his own, having to, like, redo connections again. And I think also, like, it could be a good chance for him to really find out who he is as a person Mm -hmm. like apart from everyone else because while it is great for like that Sora is able to form these strong bonds like you could make the argument that he maybe still needs to have some personal growth and internal development you know I I agree I I would really 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 enjoy if the theme of Kingdom Hearts 4, or maybe even the whole saga, is Sora becoming his own man, you know? He's gotta grow as a person. He does, he does. I like that Sora is a flawed character right now. I mean, he's always been flawed, yeah. but, like, I, I really like his depiction in 3 whenever it gets into, like, he is pushing this on himself, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's, and actually, they, like, they even start kind of setting this up and coded how it's like Sora is carrying all of this like hurt and pain that he is just like kind of doing his best to not acknowledge. Yeah, for the sake and, of others. Yeah, and it's I, I think four will kind of four would be a chance for them to kind of really go like the other characters can't necessarily save him from it. It is something that like he has to kind of step up and face himself you know Mm -hmm. yeah it's a um it's gonna be interesting seeing how everyone grows but also that also makes me worry about something Uh, let let me uh, elucidate for a second here the the, this concept that popped into my head that i hate um sora you know he's he's fighting on his own you know he's He's learning that while his friends are important and they made him who he is, like he's able to do so much on his own. He's so powerful now. I mean, he's got the, he's got the Keyblade. You know, he can do whatever. Uh, so what if he used his knowledge and his connections and his power, and he just took things into his own hands, and he tried to save the world on his own, and he grew into a guy with a big blue eye, and he time traveled and became some master of other masters, perhaps. And oh no, Stop. it turns out. Sora, learning to well, be on his own, became the master of masters, and then well, Sora has to face his future self, and oh well, first, no, actually, well, first, the power of friendship was right all along. Well, first <laughs> off, um, a big plot hole in this argument is that Demnix is the master of masters. Um, You're right. Well, I'm that, pretty sure yeah. the correct answer is that the master of master is future Sora and Demix's love child, but we're, <laughs> we're that's a whole other thing. Um, I will say... As much as we're saying we'd love for this to be a solo adventure, there's I have a few possibilities in my head, and I think they're very legitimate. May I just run through them real quick? Sure. One, three-person party consisting of Sora, Riku, and Yazora. I can very mm. much see that happening. I can also oh. see Sora doesn't have any consistent party members in the game. Instead, every world he goes to, he has Luke and Han, and then he has Iron Man and Captain America, and then he has joy and sadness. You know, like... I, the, the pillars, of course. I kind of like that, because then that is still, like, him having to kind of... He's, like, kind of starting from zero in each yeah. world. Oh yeah, if you were just like wandering, like say the the main city, like Quadratum, is like a hub world, and he wanders around it himself, and only when he goes to other worlds does he get party members. Like that'd be pretty cool. I also there, I think I wouldn't like it as much, but I would still like it if 
we can go through half the game alone. And then in the second half, we have a big KH2 Hollow Bastion chapter where finally Donald and Goofy rejoin with us. In the second right. half of the game, we have them there. I th That's something I was considering. Depending on the and length would, of the game, we really could spend a fair amount of time alone in the first half. And I think if they just execute that properly, I'd be totally fine with not, with having a big yeah. reunion scene in the end. I th uh, in the oh middle. Gosh, I Final think the Fantasy middle. VII reunion. Yeah. Wow. I think it would highly depend on the pacing of the game, mm -hmm. which unfortunately, you know, was not a strong suit of the last That's game. That's something we need to get into. They cannot repeat KH3's format if they want it to be good. Like... It worked for Dream Drop, but oh, it was so terrible for KH3. So, I've got a fix. They, they, the problem with Dream Drop in three is they wanted to save all the plot for the ending, but clearly they should resolve everything in the beginning. First world have Sora come back to life, Donald, Goofy, find him. They all join together. They all use the power of friendship and kill the Master of Masters. And the rest of the game is, is a just dating sim too. No, that'd be stupid. It's just Frozen 2. Just the only Frozen 2 and Star Wars. Oh, and 50 Marvel Worlds based on all the different movies. Oh and god. Uh, Oh my god, if they put more than one Marvel World, I would have an ulcer. <laughs> do you realize the possibility? If this was a standard Kingdom Hearts game, I would genuinely think there would be at least two Star Wars Worlds. One for, like, the oh Sand Planet god. and one for, like, the Death Star. I would... I, I, stop. And stop. Rey would show up and... Yeah, that is. If the, if we are doing Star Wars, which when when are we? Okay, Original Kylo trilogy. Ren, Sora facing against Kylo Ren would be the funniest. Genuinely, thing ever. Kylo Ren, that would be his most despised person is Sora. <laughs> like he literally. Oh my god, that would be the best. I need to ever. murder this person right now. That would be his entire thing. But because of money and other reasons, I'm very, very certain it will be original trilogy, and we will also, just continue to jerk off that saga of Star Wars. Nomura yeah. has shown he has his favorites, like yeah. with the OG Pirates of the Child, Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy. Like he could have skipped the third movie, and he didn't. He was like, "No, we have to do this." I, I think if he was to do Star Wars. He would do original trilogy. Yeah. I still desperately want Treasure Planet. Now that we've finished oh, the Oh fuck Pirates me, that'd be saga. great. They keep referencing it in some ways, but they haven't incorporated it I, yet. Maybe now it's time. I will say, I, I I'm chill with Star Wars if we have a genuine gummy ship fighting the Death Star mission. Yes. Right? Please. They have already basically done it. They've done it before. KH2. Just yeah. it's it's the fucking egg, it's the death egg, not the fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the the Dollar General brand. Yeah. Walmart fucking death. <laughs> um, we have a the we death have a cube. death star at home. But <laughs> the death game cube. Um. I, one big problem I have with KH3's worlds too is, so we have, this is, Kingdom Hearts has suffered from being a AAA game because mm. they're making these giant worlds, these giant fucking worlds for so much money. And one, if it's bad, it's bad for way longer. And two, we just have less yeah. Disney worlds. We have less worlds. And Twilight yep. Town has to fucking cut costs. Winnie the Pooh has to cut costs around it. Like, KH3 uh, yeah. has so many compromises for Pirates of the Caribbean to have a map as big as fucking Assassin's Creed 4, you know? You know, I would have okay, gladly so sacrificed a world if it meant Twilight Town being expanded on. I like, agree. The I priorities agree. are backwards. Yeah, and I, I think you're onto something with it suffering from being a AAA game because I don't know. I can't remember who talked about this. It might be H Bomber Guy, but it's like there is something being lost in like cuts kind of being frowned upon in game design now how um you know with the previous kingdom hearts games the worlds were like segmented you know there are a bunch of different like you know essentially larger rooms mm -hmm. whereas yeah. in, K in kh3 they're all supposed to be these big like zones like open worlds and it leaves it it leaves less room for those creative cuts and for them to kind of really trim the fat from areas of level design that might you might not find that engaging 
So, Do you think they'll have learned from their mistakes with three at the very least? And I have, make, I have make two. Worlds fun to explore. I have two suggestions. I have two routes that they could go. One is the obvious: cut down on the worlds, make them as small as they used to be, and have like ten of them, right? Or double down, have big fuck you worlds, but only have like four of them. Hmm. Because let's be real. With what we know so far, Quadratum is going to be Big Hero 6 again. It's going to be a big fucking city. There's just no it's, way it's, that's not happening. It's going to be the uh, insomnia that we wanted. Yeah, The only Hopefully. world we know <laughs> is in the game is Quadratum. And there's no way that's not going to be a big open area. I'm fine with yeah. that, but I... I was just thinking. Yeah. Um, you know how Final Fantasy VII Remake... They reused assets and like just lowered the quality for Ever Crisis. Mm -hmm. We've got, uh, God, I'm forgetting the name. Uh, the new one. What's it? <laughs> the mobile sure? game. No, the. Oh, um, Missing Link. Missing Link. Thank you. I was like, it's got the it doesn't have the word chain in it. It's got the link. Is what I was thinking of. Um, you've got the entirety of like Daybreak Town created for that game oh, sure. you know and, what and else it's different from three you know scala odd kylum that that it's hinted that that world will sorry win. sorry scala that's what i meant not daybreak town scala but that, that yeah they hinted at it in melody and they've got the entire world like built they made it in like three. an actual yeah well it's different in in um for for lore reasons it's different in that time period but what i was getting at is if they already have all these assets, it's probable they built it for 4. You might be exploring Scala with that aesthetic in 4 yeah. for whatever reason. I, honestly, I, I would really like Scala because I was so disappointed at how little we got to, like, explore it. I kind of wanted to, like, go into one of those, like, you know, floating cities. Like, see what the buildings were like. Maybe go through, like... You know, old Keyblade training I mean, rooms and stuff like that. Remi Remind did help a lot, but I do want it even bigger. Like, there are still things that we couldn't see. Um, do you think there'll be hmm. segments where you, like, play as Mickey? And, like, now, that, that's Scholar the question, is... You know, the the numbered titles... still shows up to help you with <laughs> boss fights. The numbered <laughs> titles, again, they've been Sora solo adventures with tiny deviations sometimes you know oh, biggest one ever oh. was roxas and that was just a prologue thing so what they're gonna do is they're gonna make it sonic 06 there's gonna be three campaigns with sora uh, riku and noctis guy you I can't just call him noctis guy bro. i literally Wait. forgot his name yazora so speaking about okay speaking about roxas wouldn't it be really funny if they they've been hiding the fact that there is just going to be like a massive four or five hour um, intro with uh, what's his name? Yazora. Yazora. I'm glad we all forgot his name. I, him, that's amazing. I'd actually be very chill with that. My, my only thing I is, I think, we're, didn't Amora say something like, yeah, we were deciding between just making Kingdom Hearts 4 or going, going ahead and making, um, now I'm forgetting, what's Yazora's game? <laughs> uh, Verum Rex. Rex. Verum, we were either going to make Kingdom Hearts 4 or Verum Rex, and we decided on 4 because, you know, we're, we miss Sora. We're concerned for him, which is very cute. Uh, which, like, but the fact that he said what? one or the other tells me Verum Rex is next, which also tells me if Yuzora's getting his own fucking I game... I don't. He might not really, be in here as much. Yeah, maybe well, he'll again, be Roxas in here. You know, Verum, Rex, Verum Rex could be a prequel game. Yeah. I mean, Roxas got his own game despite having a whole section in two. So That's true. I um I don't know much about if Veramrex will still be made, but in actuality, I have a hard time. Based on what we've been shown so far, I have a hard time picturing exactly who will be playing for how long because they've really set up Sora, Riku. They set up Gotham, Gotham, Gotham and Dooney looking for <laughs> looking for Sora. If Donald and Goofy did I don't, the fusion dance, what would they be called? Yeah. Doofy? Dorfold. Dorfoldy. I, I don't yeah. think what? outside of like maybe small segments, I don't think we'll be really playing Goofold. say Mickey or Kyrie, And probably I, I, 
not very. I think you're underestimating. Riku is there, dude. Yeah. No, Riku I didn't. Was there. No, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't think we'll be playing. Sorry, Mickey or Kyrie. And uh, if, it, if we see. do play Yozora, it will be for a short bit. I don't think it'll be a big part of the story. But between Sora and Riku, and then again, Donald and Goofy are doing whatever. I, it, it makes it a little difficult for me to know for sure. Also, who we're can... really going to be focused on? Because for all I know, like the scene from Into Three will happen. Sora dies, and then the whole game is Riku, <laughs> Donald, and Goofy. Like I don't know. F funny theory, by the way. Mm -hmm. Donald and Goofy being teased. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. The way they were teased is they're searching for Sora via Hades. Mm -hmm. What if he just kills them? That would be great. And, yeah, and, that, and that's how they get to Quadratum. Because that's, I mean, Sora's in hell. <laughs> he's yeah. he's, in, he's yeah. dead. He is a well, dead person, so. Well, and I'm, right. I'm guessing, missing is Missing Link going to kind of, uh... Or, you know, Missing Link isn't in Quadratum, is it? No, it's in Scala, right? Okay, because yes. we're still, like, I'm still wondering how much of a Land of the Dead Quadratum is going to be. Because it is also a okay, semi-fictional so, like, well, alternate we need to, dimension. We need to talk about this. I need Strelitzia, to clarify this. is that her name? Yes, Strelitzia. She says, this is a different world, and we, know, we now know it's the world of fiction. She says, yes. specifically... For us, for the two of us, it's a world of the dead. So I, yeah, I don't think every citizen looking at staring at their phone and there is a dead person from Kingdom Hearts yeah. land. I, I think they are just... It's very unlikely. In, in fact, them. I want to clarify this, because this is one of those lore things from Dark Road. Um, so here, here's a little fill-in, maybe for people listening who haven't played Dark Road also. Um... When people die in Kingdom Hearts, of course, they'll hang on for a bit and go to the final world. But that's not their heart. Or that's not their soul, that's their heart. Mm -hmm. What happens to their soul? Well, why do you think Donald and Goofy are down in, in Hades in the underworld? That's, that's where the souls go. Mm. Um, mm. Miss, uh, Dark Road confirms this. Uh, Xehanort and others go to the underworld and they meet the souls of the Keyblade Wielders that were killed in that game. I mean, speak to their spirits. And they're like, oh yeah, the last thing I remember, we were in this world of sea and sky, you know? Like, they're co they're cognizant of both. It's very strange. So, um, Hercules' I guess world the is soul... just straight up very important in Kingdom of Hearts lore. Sorry, can you repeat that? Hercules' world is just straight up yes. very impor important to Kingdom Hearts yes, lore. Yes, they are canonically, I guess, the gods of the universe, even. That's so, just their world. I, I have no idea how that works. That's that, that feels weird, putting one Disney world, like in higher yeah. value uh, he, or higher importance. He's made it so clear he just loves Hercules so much. Oh, no, I don't blame it. him. It's I love Hercules though. too, but clearly, yeah, he's, it's clearly his favorite. It's in every fucking game. I mean, all they have to do is like, I mean, Genie like opens up so many questions alone. Like, it's, it's like what his wishes can do outside of his boundaries of his world. So, um, yeah, there, there's lots of stuff like that. But yeah, um, of course, there's the, there's the thing to clarify, which is that when the soul gets summoned back, like I'm assuming the heart rejoins the soul so that it's got the cognizance and the memories and the feelings and all that. So, but the fact that they can exist separately, what I imagine is going to happen is that Donald and Goofy will go to Hades and they're not going to find Sora's soul there. Um, so I have to imagine that the Sora we see in Quadratum uh, has body, soul, and heart of some kind, or at least a soul and heart. I don't, I don't, I think he's physical. I think people can see yeah. him, so. So, yeah, they're, I don't think they're going to find him there, in which case, um, I don't know. I, I just don't see any, this is the thing. As a mainline game, I, I'm led to believe that Donald and Goofy will rejoin Sora at some point. But I don't see Donald and Goofy getting to Quadratum in any way, shape, or form, except maybe the end of the game. I think what would make more sense is if this is a Sora and Riku game, and maybe Sora joins back the world of living later, but... I don't know. I, If I had to actually guess, I would say this is a Dream Drop Distance kind of thing where you just play Sora and Riku and they only have party members in those worlds and Don and Goofy are just not part of your party in 4. Here's a question. At least not for the most part. Maybe in the final world or something. Not not to be confused with the final world. Here's a question. Uh, do you think Sora will maintain his realistic character design through most of the game? No way. Nah. You think that's a Quadratum exclusive? Really? 
Well, they show uh, Nomura drew him in that new artwork with all four versions of Sora, and there's he's got a little bit of stylization in the artwork. So I think he'll keep the clothes, but I don't think he'll keep the realism outside of that world. I think I think that's exclusive to Quadratum and any live know. action worlds he visits. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's like they really might be swinging here and saying mostly live action worlds. Maybe. Mm hmm. I think that would make the most sense, at least in this game. It would make sense. We'll be visiting more live-action worlds. Because think of it this way. Think of it this way. Maybe that wasn't the original intention, but they were like, we put so much effort into this really high-def model for Sora. It'd be weird if we only used it in this one place. Hmm. You know, let, we've already got this game being made. Let's include Star Wars and all that, and we'll have an excuse to use more live-action Sora. Also, bro... Or um, high-def Sora. Are y'all ready for fucking high, <laughs> realistic Riku? I am very ready for this. The We're internet gonna get is that. going to die. That is he's just a realistic he's, he's just a he's just a sexy guy. He's, he's a 18. Sexy, sexy guy. <laughs> I know. I'm quoting his voice actor. God, don't attack me. Oh wait, <laughs> like, wait. He did say that, didn't he? He did say that. That's awesome. And I, I'm I'm not saying that to make you stop. I'm saying he is 18. Yes. All <laughs> listeners, Riku is a teenager. Just so, a reminder. I'm. Honestly, no, I... he's 18. He's an adult, is what I'm saying. Oh, wait. Oh, he's 18. Wait, he is? I thought he was 17. Isn't he 18 I'm... now? A whole year passed. I... I I think he was 16 before, and he's 17 now. Is he? God, I hate... God, I... Yeah. I, I hate, 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 hate that Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3 have, like, a week's difference between them. I know, right? Yeah. He was 16 in Kingdom Hearts 2, so he should be 17 now. Damn. Yep. Cowards. I well, think. I take back what I said, but still, realistic Riku is going to be very cool to look at. We already know what realistic Yazora looks like. Yeah. God, I really would like Yazora to see... Yazora is real, and he is in my house. Well, you know... Well, no, um... I say... I, I, I was gonna say I'd love to see Goofy and Donald get, go to Quadratum, but, like, they've been to, like, Pirates... They didn't change much. Yeah, they got know, more realistic I, textures, but not like different shapes. Yeah, something. I could, I could see it being more about like texture in yeah. um, this game. Yummy, yummy texture. I want to know. Here's something that we've been uh, talking about for a long time. Uh, now that Union Cross is dead and buried, thank God. Um, I don't think we'll be getting a remake anytime soon, but. You know, how important will that be? Will people that haven't played it or watched all the cutscenes just be screwed? I mean, Strelitzia is in the game, so I have to yeah. imagine, like, they won't require you to play or watch it. But, like, I mean, Strelitzia is going to show up and be like, yes, I'm... I'm I'm Lorium's sister. Hello. I was in Union Cross. Yeah. You know, I was I was gonna ask you, since you're the Union Cross expert, like what what role do you think Strelitzia is gonna play in this game? Because like I know nothing. That's a good question. I think she if will I... become a keyblade. That's not I don't <laughs> <Okay>. mean that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the short version, this is the short version, I promise. Um, and Union Cross, they give her a whole little character arc, and then she just kind of dies. And, like, no part of that arc or anything should be relevant to 4, like, at all. Like, it's so self-contained to Union Cross. Her, her crush on that player character who is gone, her role as a leader that she was supposed to have is gone. Um... She's she's Marlicious or Lurium's sister, of course, but also what I was about to say. When she dies, Lorium has a dream that's implied to be somewhat real, where he sees I think it's a, a a dream or someone sees it, where they see a white cloaked person. Not a black cloak, a white coated person. Mm. Who is very much implied to be Shalitzia. Uh, leaving with I think the master or Lucio or whatever. I believe the implication is that it's a replica body with Strelitzia's heart, or created from her data. It's not entirely sure. For all we know, Strelitzia should be dead, but we see her again. You get what I'm getting at? So either someone created a clone of her, or she, her heart was put into another vessel. Uh, this should be, th I'm assuming this is either that Strelitzia, or the original that died and went to Quadratum, right? Mm 
Mm -hmm. um, but that's that's where that's where we cut off. She, I don't know if she even remembers that she's Lorium's sister at this point, and even if she does, I don't know how relevant that is to her current situation. There's literally so little to work with. Like I, I have no idea. Like, she's a nice gal, and that's about all I can tell you. Mm -hmm. She's a very very nice person. Um, um, so assuming she's not being manipulated or whatever, she would be good friends with Sora. Mm -hmm. It makes sense they're both living in the flat together or whatever, but they're. Uh, there's not much to go with there. Maybe I think her role only implies that Marluxia slash sorry, Lorium's gonna have some more important role in the game, and that's about all I got for you. Maybe even I wouldn't uh, mind more Marluxia. Yeah. Maybe even Arlene or Leda, whatever her name was. Sora, are you okay? They took my fucking feet. <laughs> I I have a question. Yes. Who is going to be the final boss of Kingdom Hearts 4? Now, I think hmm. it will be the Master of Masters. Will it be his permanent end? No. But I think, unlike Xehanort, we're, we're going to go ahead and fight the man first go. I think we'll Are fight you him. sure? I, I feel like it'll be a... I feel like the final boss of this game would be, like, a new character or antagonist that they've introduced. I could see Master yeah. of Masters being, like, an, being like the super boss of the game. As Master like, of Masters... He's gonna be, like, Gaster. He's gonna be the Gaster of Gasters, bro. It's gonna, like, I, pop up in, like, a secret cutscene and then vanish, and, like, that's it. I just... <laughs> I don't want no, it... He, I don't want it to be Lushu. I um you know in in all seriousness I I think he'll fight the master his identity will probably even be revealed but I don't think from for now I don't think he'll be the final boss mm. I think if you think about it with Kingdom Hearts one like we didn't know who Ansem was or Xehanort's Heartless there was like there was no you didn't see the guy in the brown like potato sack in the trailer and go oh my god that's the main antagonist that's the yeah. final boss there was no there was no reason to know of the guy until you played the game. Yeah. Uh, and then onward, like Kingdom Hearts 2, like you didn't see Xemnas, but you knew the organization. Of course, the leader of the organization was going to be the final boss. So, like there was some, there was a stretch where like you knew who the final antagonist was going to be, but in the start of the series, it wasn't quite like that. And I think this might be in a similar position where they're trying to build a bigger narrative, but we won't know who the real antagonist of this game is yeah. until we play it. And I don't think Master fits that bill. It's, I think if they're really trying to shake things up, it won't be him. I, you know, There's also, like, depending on what the Master of Masters is up to and, like, how Sora's understanding of, like, the world is, I'm wondering if, uh... I'm honestly wondering if the uh, Foretellers could end up being, like, a new group of antagonists. Oh, that, I, I 100 percent. I 100 percent believe they are the new organization. Like we, we will be fighting them throughout the game. Or games. Here's a here's something I need to bring up. They sp I I want to say that I want to say I agree with that, but also they never even bothered to design their faces. They literally didn't think that was important. It's I like, mean, they have the cool masks. Yeah, but like, the masks have got to come off, right? Like, for but real. But since they're wearing the masks, uh, James, they're evil. And that means it's okay for us to just kill them. Uh, you're right. You know, that that makes sense. They can just actually die, and it's fine. We didn't see any tears in their eyes. I mean, we already kind of... Also, we did already fought them in Union Cross. Um, I would be surprised if Sora... No, Sora would probably fight evenly with them, actually. But I... If they're going to make them major antagonists, they have to develop them a lot more. And I guess now's their chance to do that. But yeah. it just seems weird that they wouldn't have done that already if that was their intent. And there is a big question of, like, you know, they're currently in the regular world while Sora is in Quadratum. So how that is do true. they that's, get That's not a problem. There. They have Lushu with them. And he's got a black box, which has uh, the thing. We all know what's inside it, obviously. You know, without even having to explain it. We all, we all know. So... Anyway. Right, Casey's My, the, uh, Casey's Christmas present flash. to me being the uh, Wooly Versus two hundred plus dollar snack box on sale right now. Um, oh, I mean, what snacks? I, Good guess. He's, I don't even know why I made that joke. He's never gonna listen to this. I know, right? 
Uh, Bro, hey, Casey, thanks for listening for the first time <laughs> Casey, ever. oh my god, I can't believe you're actually listening, bro. Yeah, well, Thank well. you. Do you guys want to talk about what's in the box? Do we do we want to talk about this? I I, I, I see don't. What's in, I actually, see what is question. in the box as like a useless conversation until Same. they actually tell us Same. what it is. I completely agree. But here's a better question. Do you think it matters in Kingdom Hearts 4? Maybe not. The optimist in me <laughs> wants to say. I could, see it. I could see them revealing what's in the box at the end of Kingdom Hearts 4, but. Hey, you remember when we said that about Kingdom Hearts 3? Okay, now here's. I have an argument against that. I, I think people who thought we'd get real details about the Master of Masters and uh, the Black Box and it, all, all of that stuff, people who thought that would really come into play in Kingdom Hearts 3 were absolutely fooling themselves. The fact that we got as much content with the Lost Masters stuff as we did in 3 is a miracle for that. KH3 was already, like, way too spread thin. Yeah. And what were... it was trying to accomplish. But, like... Hey guys, we're setting up the final boss. Oh, but we're also setting up Kingdom Hearts 4. Uh, but, like, and you we're know, you know making my... this accessible to newcomers. Yeah. <laughs> you know... This will lead into something I want to say, is... I'm actually very optimistic for Kingdom Hearts 4. I'm so optimistic. Like, like, very optimistic. And, and I'll give you two reasons why. Is one, mm -hmm. Remind and Limit Cut. What, what? What's the fucking boss DLC? In... Uh, Limit Cut. You named it right. Oh, like though that gameplay and all that stuff, and, and the 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 new combo tools that they gave Sora in that DLC. Uh, it makes me very optimistic for the gameplay of Kingdom Hearts 4. And they're bringing back reaction commands. I think... God bless. I think this team is really, really figuring it out. And they can very much hit it out of the park with 4. And 2... They're in the best possible position. 2... I think Nomura was straight up bored of Xehanort by the time of 3. Because mm -hmm. I think he very, very clearly cares way more about the Lost Masters arc. And is oh, way yeah. more excited to tell this story. Especially now that Versus 13 shit is in it. I think... You know, that... I think... That would ex... I, I, I think Nomura has been waiting to get to this. Okay, this is... This, it's weird for you say that, because the dude loves Xehanort. The dude served him in a melody memory, created hold Dark on, hold on, Road. Hold on, hold on. He loves the character Xehanort. Does he love the Xehanort saga by three? That's a great point. Uh, I, th I think you're right. I think he loves Xehanort and wanted more time with them, but like, nah, bro. He wanted to be on with that. He was like, let's kill this off and go to something new. I, th you reminded me of something. I have had a thought. I don't think it's an impossibility for some incarnation of Xehanort to return to the story. And I have a certain favorite that I want. You want Apprentice Xehanort? No. Can I say what? Can I say? Can I say my idea first? Yes. I want it to just be like Sora has this conversation with Strelitzia. It's like, okay, we're gonna go out and do our, you know, plot stuff. They walk out, and Xehanort is just like stepping into like the apartment next door with like a bag of groceries. Just like, well, <laughs> this is awkward. This is, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just happened. Get a load of this guy. Uh, I I have reason to believe this, but either the man himself or a humanized version. But I want Ansem Seeker of Darkness to be the representation of Xehanort. Bring back Billy Zane. Or the somebodied version, right? But I have reason to believe, and it's because that mm -hmm. is the Ansem. That is the Xehanort that was doing all the research. Do you know who else was the Xehanort doing all the research? I know. Apprentice Xehanort and also Xemnas. But, yeah, either They're one. They're the same. You know, you say Apprentice Xehanort, and my mind immediately goes to young Xehanort. Those aren't the I same mean, character, are they? <laughs> they aren't the same character. So, and yeah. also, I want to say this, Ransom. Mm -hmm. uh, God, what's the quote? Um... Uh, whatever Ansem said before he died, it was basically, it's time to move on, boy. 
I there are still Ansem, things worth seeking. Now seek them. Yeah. Exactly. And some there's here's the thing. You have a character and you could they have infinite potential and you could do so much with him and they didn't. And it's too late. They could they could keep bringing him back forever and try try to do it better this time, but they I think it's over. I don't think Ansem Seeker or Darkness is coming back outside of like a cameo or something. I don't think Xemnas is coming back. The only Xehanort's I see coming back are potentially are young Xehanort, Apprentice Xehanort, and Old Man Xehanort. And even then, it's only for like lore reasons. I'm gonna be real. I forgot that Apprentice Xehanort was a different character than young Xehanort. <laughs> so when I said somebodied version of Seeker of Darkness, that's who I meant was Apprentice Xehanort. It's okay. So. The, uh... The, um, There's a lot the of those fuckers. There's too. a lot of those fuckers. Okay, so they made that re they made that mistake in a uh, in Remind, I believe. So you're but not I, the only one. I have reasons to believe it. Like first off, motherfucker knows who the Master of Masters is. <laughs> he also knows that unreality exists. He also knows which, like, that why unreality does he know exists. That? He also gave Sora the Key Blade. <laughs> I have to say it like Wait. that to be clear. Oh, here's something we need to clarify. I'm still, um, I'm on that, I'm on that team. I think he bequeathed the Keyblade to Sora. Oh, it's not a question. He did. The question for me is, did Sora stick his little keychain on the Keyblade and that's what he's using now? <laughs> like, I don't know. Also. Sora's just got the Infinity Gauntlet now, I guess. Also, I, I saw a theory. I completely fucking forget who brought this up. I think Bio Roxas? I forget. I watched some video, but... Okay, listen, Keyblade wielders either train to get their Keyblade or they get it bequeathed on them. Yeah. Sora, for all intents and purposes, and, and for all intents and purposes, got chosen by the Keyblade, right? Sure. Right. Something like that. And the fact that his Keyblade looks like part of the Keyblade. I'm sure it's just a pure coincidence, and there's no deeper mm. meaning or message to that at all. Especially not thematically, I, it will never come up. Okay. Who? I, it was the Riku is gay video that I think brought this up. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, if you have not watched that video, audience, fuck our video, turn it off, go watch Riku is gay and why that matters. Well, I mean, that that's video our first very good. It. It's actually really it's good. So it's so good. <laughs> But it's, listen, I mean, it changed my mind on some things. I was like, okay. So okay. we have the Child of Destiny, uh -huh. which it it's just Riku. I I don't think that's a question, right? The Child of Destiny has to be Riku, but it's also the Child of Destiny will pass the fucking Destiny juice on to someone else. That said, right. I'm uh, I'm 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 butchering these quotes, but the theory goes Riku is the child of destiny, and he shared that with Sora, which is great because it doesn't take away from Sora being a normal fucking guy. Yeah. yeah. Which like oh, I love that. It's so, so good. It's so good, and the fact that Sora and Riku both wielded a Keyblade that looks like that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I I think that and and Sora always has the fucking crown imagery on his fucking head in the box arts or whatever, right? Or in mm -hmm. the fucking post game shit. King. I, I in the Kingdom of Hearts, Sora is key. I think. I it's like it's right itself, and the thing is, I I worry we're setting ourselves up for disappointment. What if Nomura is just like. So, like, not privy to any of this. Things are just coincidences. There's no fucking doesn't... way. There's just no fucking just, way. They said it nothing out. Nothing comes of it. Like, this is the, like, to be fair, pointing out one of the good things did in Cage 3, this is the guy who threaded together the, um, Terra being the cum guardian. Yes. Yeah, but, yes. like, everyone thought of that. No, they did it! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was talking about it long before 3 came out. I did it! Dream and, 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 no, no, you're, no, you're not, fuck you, you're helping out. my point. You're, fu you're helping my point, because, like, the fact that people caught that through such tiny details, and it turned out that's to be true. true, like, come on. Okay, that's, that's a This is point, how yeah. Nomura tells stories. Every detail fucking matters. Don't even pretend that that's not true. Even you're if it right, didn't matter at the time... He will take some shit like that weird machine in Hollow Bastion in Kingdom Hearts 1 and then make it matter 
15 years later, you know? Listen, I've, j I've just been let down by other media that, like, it looked like the creators knew what they were doing. But this is like, Kingdom like, Hearts! <laughs> <laughs> I know, but also Disney is on it, and I'm I like, think the only the thing Dis I think the only thing Disney can ruin is Frozen and Riku and Sora being gay together. But even then, I think this I is the most this gay. is the most crazy hope for me, right? But my hope, which God that the Riku is gay video, bro, it will convince it's you. So good, it will convince you. Because it's facts and evidence, the whole video. It's just facts and evidence. Oh, uh, but actually it's long, therefore it's wrong. Fuck Duh. you. Watch I'm the furry so, woman. Very, I don't I'm actually know smart. their pronouns, so I'm not going to... I'm a... I don't yeah, know. I, whatever. They, them, is usually safe. Definitely <laughs> queer, but... <laughs> watch the furry YouTuber and watch them just nail that shit. It's the best long video on the platform. How long is it? Four hours? I don't know. I think it was like seven hours. Don't yeah, it's it is a it is a tone. I'm a I'm a it's a <laughs> I'm a look it up. It's a, a tone. Of Kingdom it's Hearts. as long as the Bible. Uh, okay. Sorry if you hear typing sounds. My fucking cord is. Sh uh, you should apologize. No, fuck you. I am so. Oh my god, uh, it's I, six I, hours. You're right. And then there's a follow up video that's forty six minutes. Yep. God, God damn! I, I I so hope hope so hard that that becomes relevant. Like I, Wait, it needs what, to what, be so important. No, 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 no. What do you mean that only has 121k views? I know. Well, no, people saw the length and they were like, "Yeah, that's too long," and they gave up because people are dumb. That is, it is the quintessential it, Kingdom Hearts pieces. video. What? Put it in your watch later. Watch it over the course of months. I don't care. It must be watched. You have to legally. Anyway, another video, we, another really good people... video, another really good video is, I think it was, it was Bio Roxas who, his Riku analysis and how it really dives into how Riku is definitely dealing with depression. Oh yeah. There's so many, there's a lot of themes of trauma and depression. Oh my god, so many, Riku. so many. And, and, never... and, and, I... and yet, it deals with them so amazingly, and yet this is also the same series that uh, the creatures that are hearts are called heartless, and the creatures without hearts are not called heartless. They're called nobodies. But yeah. they are the bodies of the. But they are bodies. That heartless. Yep. Man. Perspective, huh? Hindsight. Unversed. Hindsight is twenty twenty. <laughs> and the unversed are versed. <laughs> I I don't. Uh, uh, the un the unbased. They should have called Super Saiyan God Saiyan God and called Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan God, ugh, the duh, the Toriyama. Why didn't you think of it? God, no, actually, can, not everything can. Um, <laughs> did, did I just I awaken something, James? <laughs> yes, but um, uh, I wanted to bring this up before I forgot. But if there if there is a, a Xehanort that deserves more time and spotlight, I think it was Young Xehanort. I totally wouldn't mind like a spinoff series where like that, Young Xehanort that comes happened. back or something. That happened! The dark no, like, road! A, make an alternate timeline where like he starts out from that point uh, and like grows or something. I don't know. I wanted Young Xehanort to matter more. I, bro, I, I only know Young Xehanort as the guy who fucking, who said, Fuck you! You didn't win! As he died. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, he which was I love right, that. I love that. I love he, that he these, just... uh, his two other Xehanort comrades give these heartfelt little, like, I'm going to miss you, and I'm so lonely, and, you know, I know I knew you were right all along, and young Xehanort just, YOU DIDN'T WIN! YOU DIDN'T WIN! YOU'RE GONNA DIE! <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Road, Kingdom Hearts Dark Road makes him such an intelligent, like, Sasuke figure. I whatever. know! And I was just like, and it's I was just like, he's just this goober. <laughs> It's so fun. He's this but, edgy uh, asshole who Rob would write. I gotta cut that. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I, I, I want like it'd be cool if they did more with him. I guess is what I'm getting at. But I don't want to stick too far in the past. I know Kingdom Hearts Four is trying to be a new thing, and I know new people need to be able to enjoy it without having to. This is something I believe is that uh, we're in the best possible position. They can build off of Kingdom Hearts Three and remind. They've learned from their mistakes. They've learned from feedback. They want this to be a new beginning. Tons of plot threads are gone. This can literally not just be a good entry point, a new beginning for Kingdom Hearts, but it can also be mechanically really fun and interesting, like like two or something. 
It can have all the shenanigans of three without it being cluttered and unfun and bad. You know, I will I will say, I do. I said I was very confident in the gameplay of four, but like for FF sixteen, they brought together the goddamn Avengers of character action combat, and it it, it showed it turned no yeah. no it didn't it turned into it cool down show. it turned into cool downs the game. It showed visibly. It looked pretty, it's, but it didn't. It, it looks and feels good, but it's not. It is not the choice I would have made. I That's like when Clive does the enemy step. You mean the limited quantity enemy steps? Yeah, it's great. Don't get me wrong. I love I, FF16, but like. It's, well, to be fair, 16, while it's built on the same system, like made seven remake and, and 15, like. It's not. It's not a. It's not a direct sequel to something else. It's not learning from yeah. the mistakes. Like the four is. Four is is coming right after three. Like they, they have the things. Like they. And they're much they more comfortable. Want. They're way more comfortable making Kingdom Hearts an action game than Final Fantasy. Yeah, and if yeah. I would be pretty upset if they just completely dropped the ball and missed the point again. Just yeah. like, I'm fine if four has all sorts of shenanigans, but like. Can it be also a good game at the same time? Like, like I'm not, I'm not expecting perfection. Like, it, it's okay if it has weird shit. Like, Kingdom Hearts Two yeah, has two was a the two most was a lightning... bizarre decisions that fucking suck, but I still love the game. Yeah, but like, Two's mechanics were somewhat like lightning in a bottle, like made by just the right devs in the right time yeah. and in an experimental setting, and I get that. And even then, they but did like... fuck up one aspect of it, which was tying movement yeah. abilities to uh, growth abilities to. Mm -hmm. leveling up your yeah but like you can drives there's God. so much to learn from <laughs> just with that one and four like and you've got the resources so i'm hoping hoping really well that you know maybe there'll be some plot threads that new be useful we confused with and not to play old games or whatever or to help to google it They've but got they'll be able the... to just pick up kingdom parts four and they'll be able to play it and it'll be a freaking grand time i'm not even gonna we'll be replaying it I'm not even gonna begin to theorize what build means on the command deck. <laughs> oh, you just, uh, you literally, have you played Minecraft? It's like that. Uh, <laughs> like, Fortnite? I genuinely, Fortnite? I, I just won't even. The only thing I will say is it could mean two things. Is one, build, like, build a house, or build as in, like, Final Fantasy RPG, like, what, what are you? Maybe it's gonna be like constructs, and like you'll be able to like use Keyblade constructs. Sora swapping. Maybe so. I, I I agree. That is what I think it will be. But also Sora swapping like Final Fantasy jobs. Uh, I, I you know I'm not I'm not saying no to that. Um, it's it's exclusively a Wreck It Ralph button, and he summons those weird things I that he does in a Scene Mars resummon, I, and that's the I, only I, way. I would text. not pre-order the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I just hope it's well thought out, and... You know what? I'll say this. It's not just a summon button, which is a good sign. Yeah. It's not just a link button. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um... Oh, God, that is a big question if summons will come back at all. But also, oh, um... Oh, they got it. Did I just forget what I was gonna say again? No, no, no. The um, I was I I, I thought about this a second ago because I was joking about it being Fortnite, and I said, "Is there a real chance that Sora for Kingdom Hearts Four will show up in Fortnite as a skin?" No, I don't think Disney don't think so. has Square done any Fortnite stuff. They just did Apex Legends, and Disney has been doing Fortnite all over the place. Isn't Tifa in Fortnite or? Tifa's, no. Tifa's not in Fortnite. They just added them to, I think, Apex Legends. For Final they did just do that FF7 Apex Legends. And, yeah. and of course, Marvel, Star Wars, and all that has been in Fortnite for a while now. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. And they're possible. still adding stuff. So, like, Sora with a gun, like, just an actual, just a Glock or something, is less than 0%. It's not 0% chance. It's higher well, than that. I, I, I'm, a, I'm conflicted. We've seen Sora wield projectile weapons a lot, but... He's, he can use a keylay pickaxe. Him like it all using just... a blicky feels like something Namora <laughs> wouldn't want to happen. He's gonna yeah. use the Sora with the doohickey. 
<laughs> He's gonna kill Shinzo Abe. That's one of the. That's one of the bosses. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that's the la That's the ultimate Keyblade transformation. <laughs> it's the <God>. two hickey. <laughs> um. Bro got the. Bro like gets the keychain with the two hickey. I, on I them. will it's say, but freaking... can I say I don't want them to go Keyblade transformations again. Oh, we're getting Keyblade transformations. You saw that weird chain thing and drill thing he did against. Okay, the... drill was just. But that's like drill is just an energy corporate... blast as a reaction command, and the but chain yeah. is just uh, what's it called? Quick step. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Shot but, lock. But like instead of square, incorporate into combos as like regular attacks or something. Or like, I, I don't want the Keyblade form changes. I think is what you're getting at. Is I don't want I don't, that. I, 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 I want if he's Sora, gonna do it. They need to commit. They need to spend more time on Sora's base move set rather than just having him play a million different ways. Yeah, that's what yeah. I want. Like have like have it like maybe some finishers can be tra Keyblade transformations or reaction commands or whatever or certain abilities. But like he needs to be using the thing like a like a freaking blade for the most part. Mm -hmm. And if there's gonna be forms, I'm, I guess I'm fine with that. But I don't need a million ones, especially you know I don't want to be wielding a giant hammer or whatever. No, like, like, I want to just three, hit things really fast with one or two Keyblades. You know, three to five is perfectly fine. No one is complaining about KH two having. I mean, like, for fuck's sake, you don't need that many in KH2. Who uses Wisdom Form? Me not using Master Form, not using Wisdom Form, right. never intentionally choosing Anti Form. No one uses Valor Limit. either, actually. In fact, people yeah, only people. use Final Form and Limit Form, and they only use Limit Form because it's the only one you can use when you're alone. Yeah, I mean, use Valor early game if you just want to quickly see him use two Keyblades and hit stuff. You know, I like hitting yeah. things really fast yeah. without having to fly around, but, I mean, what, that's three forms necessary maybe four i've seen some modders make cool stuff but like you don't need 50 billion forms I you don't really need transformations what was that i should really check out that mod nobody may cry i've seen it uh it looks cool just give us an entire Shion game also <clears throat> that's a little side uh but Fuck also me, man. Warriors. Give, give us a days game give us a days group game give us uh <laughs> Give us a Days game, give us a sequel, give us a Shion game, give us a Roxas game, give us a Kingdom Hearts Warriors game. Just, I want so many things that won't happen. Yeah, you'll get that at the same time you get an arc focused on Vegeta or Piccolo or whatever, you know, just them. But, you know. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> shut up! Hey, superhero <laughs> happened! It happened! It can't Goku happen! Time. <laughs> Goku time, let's go. Sora forever, guys. 358 was an accident. I like Never Sora, again. too. I just... I... Burst, burst by sleep too. Here we come. Ugh. But no, um, maybe if we're lucky, we'll be, get Union Cross too, and it'll be even more two dimensional. I hate you. Animated. Stop talking. Um, don't, don't manifest these things. I, you know what'd be funny if, what if the game leads us to believe all these people will be playable, but then like Strelitzia ends up being like the second playable character. I, I mean, I'd be cool with that. Like I. I'd be fine with that. I, I, I would, would be cool Stiletia with that. Stiletia gets more development than Kyrie. It'd oh, be God, weird if like, not allowed to have a character. Yeah. Wait, hold on. If Stiletia is an important character throughout that game, and you like you turn to Quadratum as like a hub or something, and she's like lives with you or whatever, like she genuinely might get more development than Kyrie in one mm. game. It's not that hard. Sora looking at a plank of wood. Kyrie, I can't yeah. believe it's you. <laughs> I missed you. Uh. Oh wait. Donald's gonna have to say Stiletia's name at some point. <laughs> <laughs> then again, he said Zaynord, I think. I mean, Goofy did. Nice to meet you, Stiletia! <laughs> Gorsh, is that Sephiroth? It's Sephiroth! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. That happened. I, I was gonna say, can we get Cloud and Sephiroth back? But honestly... Why didn't they finish that plot thread in 3? Because... If we you're literally look, okay, but to, to, to be fair, to be fair, if you want Cloud and Sephiroth content, there's definitely games for you to buy right now. You know, like, no, I know. But I sorry, this is a little aside. We literally went to the Greek version of like heaven or whatever in like freaking. Uh, I know this isn't Greek accurate, Greek mythology accurate. Obviously, Hercules Disney isn't. We went up to what looks like heaven in Kingdom Hearts three. We didn't encounter like Zack's spirit. We didn't finish this Cloud Sephiroth fight. In Coded, you had Cloud and Hercules as your partners, so why didn't- why wasn't there a plot thread where you return to Olympus, and you have Cloud join your party, 
and you encounter Sephiroth and you try to fight him together and then like Zack's spirit shows up and him and Cloud finish him off and then after that you can like refight Sephiroth as like a data fight or whatever or, or one of those spirit thingies lingering things like in two and that would be your secret Sephiroth super boss and you'd also end up the plot thread and you'd also get Cloud in your party, like, I, I, and wrap up the birth by sleep plot. Do, do it all at once. Like, I'm sorry, I, I'm just a mess. Did that? I'm just... I could very easily see them saying that, like, when Cloud and Sephiroth disappeared, they just went to Quadratum. We'll see. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I'm just imagining Sora talking to those nameless stars, and one of them being Zack, and him just going, "He took my girl. He took my fucking girl, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Zack wouldn't linger. He'd be on to the next journey. Zack would not give a fuck. Can't wait Bro, to hear yeah. his... Uh, can't wait to see what happens with him. God, that's a whole other... You know, it, I don't I, even want to... Let's record that some other time. I need to play Crisis Core. We don't before. even need to record it, bro. The game's like a month away. like Or two months away. Like, There's no point. It's happening. It's coming. Record it like the day... Speaking of which... A few weeks before it releases. Speaking of, speaking of Rebirth. When that game comes out... When that game comes out, if the next game that Square... If Square doesn't start the marketing cycle on Kingdom Hearts 4 after Rebirth comes out, I I will... I genuinely fuck you for <laughs> show, for making that trailer. Fuck you for they even will... <laughs> telling us that Kingdom Hearts 4 was happening. Don't worry. Uh, Disney and Square Enix have decided to cancel the game. Oh my god. But, but like, for real, like, they said... They said... They're never doing that again. They Showing a game it. that early. They fucking did. Haven't they? Are we at a point now where it's already unreasonable for them to have shown that trailer? Yep. Oh, it, it's been like that for a I while. Think, I think the past, I think the point of reason ended with the game awards this year. Yes. I just, yep. Like the fact. When, I, when, did, when did that original trailer come out? I don't even remember, man. I'll tell you the exact date. Okay. It's just like how I know the exact date you guys will die. That's crazy. That is, that is kind of crazy. Yeah, I know, right? Wait, is that a year ago? It's one no. year ago. What's the date? That's I don't... fine then. -ish. Yeah. Okay, maybe I, maybe I was know... exaggerating. Wait, what? It was no, there was no way it was a year ago. Let me, let me find the exact date. I didn't want to... I've decided I will be using James's Sometimes. Christmas playlist as the background music, actually, so I didn't Yay. want to get off my YouTube video. April 10th, 2022. So it was so uh, about over a year ago. Year it was and a year three, and a half ago. Year and three-fifths ago or so. Yeah, so sometimes the browser will just say, like, a year, but it's more than yeah. that. It doesn't so, round up to two. Okay. Okay, so it's still... Um, okay. If they do start the marketing cycle for four after Rebirth comes out, you know, within this year, like middle of the year, June or something, I'm okay. But if not, <laughs> I'm just mad. I'm just angry. I mean, to be fair, they have re they are releasing another Kingdom Hearts game soon, so it's not like they've been radio no. signing. No, it. they're not. No, they, they are. are not. That doesn't fucking count. And that's not even the point. That's it, not the point. That's not the point. It that's that's not at all the point. I, I I do not even care. Like yeah, sure, that's great. It's the fact that like three was announced so far before it came out. I, yeah, three was ridiculous. I just it, I think if we have to I wait, just... if okay, I'll put it to you this way, James. If they show me a trailer. And it's not clearly real gameplay. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking scream my head off. I no, I I agree. I don't want to see cutscene. Don't show me cutscene trailers that spoil the whole plot. Don't also, show me that, that fake bullshit you did with Versus Thirteen for years and years. Don't show me the uh, fake bullshit you did. Uh, wow, that that fucking hit y'all, huh? Yeah. Don't show me the fake bullshit you did with Kingdom Hearts Four. Like, oh, honest to God, my real feelings watching that trailer. Obvious excitement. But I'm watching it, and, I, and I'm just like, this isn't real. <laughs> this, none of this is real, and I Our hate totally that. totally real UI on the screen that's not just Our totally finished the UI with totally in-control Sora that's not just CG pretending to be gameplay. Like, 
God damn it. Like, it's a concept trailer. It's nothing. You know, um... I'm pretty sure these mobile games are replacing... Might as well be the, that sick. In quotes. So, uh, might as well... Sorry, let me... Uh, might as well be that fucking trailer <laughs> of Sora picking up that Keyblade. <laughs> Uh, it's nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad we. I'm so glad we got to use that Keyblade in the game. That was awesome foreshadowing. That was so guys. cool. It was so cool how they forced that scene into the final game just just to have it there. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker picking up the Keyblade, looking at it as if he don't know what's going on. It was really awesome that we went to Destiny Islands and got to wander around. Really, really areas. cool how that was a playable area. Yep. Don't worry, it was in the Remind Photo mode, partially. Isn't that awesome, guys? Uh, That's what you wanted. Um, it's crazy that they made it. They made the model and let you wander around it, but they didn't just make it a, like a little world in the world map. I don't know why they. Would you believe anyway. I like Kingdom Hearts three? My goodness, right? I know, right? <laughs> it's a flawed um, game, but you know it ain't birth by sleep. People complain this much about things they love. Yep, that's sometimes. true. Um, I think what they're trying to do is that these new mo these mobile games are replacing what in the past were in quote spinoffs or side and games. And I so or hope to God that's just not true because like. Well, th but that'll let them focus more on not only the mainline games, but it'll also let them like the main like numbered games, but it'll also let them switch like reuse assets a little more easily. I think. I d I don't know, man. Like you, because we say side games, but it's like they weren't side games. They were just the next Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that... Look me in, in the, the eye. Look me in the goddamn eye and tell me Birth by Sleep is less important than Kingdom Hearts 2. That's true, but also at the time that released, like, you didn't have a PSP. But, like, we all have God, phones. What a, what <laughs> you a all terrible. have smartphones, right? What a Come decision. Yeah. What a decision. Um, the idea is it's, it's a more accessible, and if we really don't want to play, the cutscenes will be on YouTube. It's fine. The world would and, be different if Birth by Sleep was on the PS3. Yeah, and at the end of the day, I kind of wish they were just smaller, like, games that were, like, I don't know, put them on the Switch or something. Don't make it a phone yeah, game. No, and also, absolutely. Absolutely. Put them on the Switch. If it's going to be important, but also... But that would just continue the the trend of problem. Oh, no. Uh, actually, no. Don't do that. Just make them for Switch, like, target Switch hardware, and then have and them then also release on the everything. rest of the platforms, yes. and they run at a flawless 60. Do the Call of Duty system where you have two teams, one's developing the, the sidier games and one's developing the meatier games and just interval them back and forth. Well, they were kind of doing that, but not really. It's that yeah, yeah. The, the, the team that was developing the side games was the only team. It's just, they hey. sw it was a different team, but D like it had crossover. It's not like everyone left. So did y'all watch any of the gameplay of, um, of, Missing Link yet? Yeah, it looks more a little bit. like something I'd be interesting interested in, but I just I, I'm not. So they do this thing where if they it comes fight to Steam, Heartless in the. It. They do this thing where they fight Heartless in the astral plane, <clears throat> which is the real world, and I'm wondering if the astral plane is the same thing as Quadratum. Hmm. Um, because if a if so, that would mean there's just random portals to unreality around for some reason, which doesn't make any sense to me. Still, the funniest but decision also, to make the land, the world of fiction, look like the real world. That's I'm a fan yeah. of that. It's like, oh, I see what they're doing there. Uh -huh. um, Do, oh, genuine I, question. I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off, James. I'll let you talk, but genuine, fine. genuine question. Will there be a reveal that Kingdom Hearts world was the fake world all along? Uh, Perhaps I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like. Well, okay. I think it would. It would kind of make it. I think it would make for a lot of people. It feel like nothing really mattered then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is this is an important thing to talk about. It's the same. It's actually the same concept as with Shion. Like, oh, bringing her back made the whole thing pointless. And it's like, well, no, the 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 event still happened. And this is this is something that's in a lot of fiction lately. Uh, and Kingdom Hearts has already covered it. Where like. Just because something isn't the original or isn't in quotes real doesn't make it not real. Like the replicas are real people, even when they aren't supposed to be. They're real people. Like they develop and they're. Anyway, the point I'm getting at is the entire Kingdom Hearts universe has operated on like information transferring in some form or another. Whether that information becoming 
good light information or dark, becoming a dark realm, a light realm, an in-between realm, a realm of sleep. Like, things conceptually and like metaphysically, abstractly materialize into things you can interact with. They become energies, they become worlds, they become realms or whatever. So if Kingdom Hearts was all revealed to be, oh, this is the fiction, it wouldn't contradict or change or upturn anything at all, actually. It would only further cement the whole point the series has been kind of trying to push, which is like, all of this matters just as much regardless of that. Mm -hmm. You know, Sora might be a character in our world who someone is writing, but within the concept, the, the context of his story, he's just a guy living his life. And knowing that, you know, if he found out the world isn't real, he'd be like, okay. And? I would love if they went Metal Gear Solid 2 on it and just, <laughs> just made it a giant, like, blow your mind, fuck you thing. You have no idea what's real and what isn't. God, I hope. I'd love that. I want, I want Kind of Hearts to go hard. I want it to not only traumatize children, I want it to educate people and make them think about things. They'd go, they would never think about otherwise. King? The concept of the self and reality. I might make people mad with this, but I think Kingdom Hearts and Metal Gear are cut from the same cloth. Of course. They should cross over immediately. The two gayest games of all time. True. True. Absolutely true. It's true, objectively. Well, I don't know. Guilty Gear Strive is there, but... Hmm. Okay, three gayest games of all time. I mean, Guilty Gear also has a kind of insane plot, so... Yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah, also cut from the same cloth. Blaze Blue might be a little more complicated, but I don't know. Ragnar's kind of yeah, straight, Yeah, but, but no one cares okay. about Blaze Blue. Yeah, no one cares about Blaze Blue. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, you God. mean Ruby, Ruby, from, you know, Ruby from Blaze you know, Blue comes you in? You know, it's, it's, what's, uh, like, it's, it's a very real likelihood that one of you guys bought me Bla Blaze Blue Central Fiction for my Steam wishlist for Christmas. <laughs> and me just saying no one cares about Blaze Blues, <laughs> you just thinking to yourself like, oh, well. No, it's then. okay, Ransom. I didn't get you any Christmas presents. <laughs> Thank Merry you. Christmas. I, I definitely didn't get you any Christmas presents either. Um, Aw, thank you. Uh, hey, who got you that mic? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> I think that was all Casey. Thanks, Casey. Casey. I'm not, I won't out him like that. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. Thanks Casey is poor! <laughs> Broke. He lives on a farm! <laughs> no. Broke. Whoa, wow, that mic is good at picking that up. Uh, Thank you. Back to Kingdom Hearts. Um, Man, I love Kingdom Hearts. I'm so excited. I know, they should make a uh, fourth one. I, I am very optimistic about the direction they're going to take with KH4. There's a lot of, like, directions they can take, new arcs to mm -hmm. go on. It's just, I, I am glad that they have unburdened themselves from so much, because it yes. just seems like one of the things that made KH3 so so KH3 is just that they were trying to do, like, way too much and they just had, there was so much baggage going in to that story mm -hmm. I, it's sad because as a fan i want them both to shred through all these old plot threads and like resolve them and also i want them to just drop it all and be like uh, intriguing and new again especially as a good starting point for older uh, new people i want tetsuya nomura to have fun i want them to bring yeah. tarzan back and have it be the only world <laughs> that cannot happen <laughs> make it one to one with Kingdom Hearts one. Make 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 it canon. Make okay. Ooh, make ee, it so that Nominee uh, uh. Nominee genuinely just could not piece those memories back together for Sora. <laughs> Why doesn't Nominee have a Keyblade yet? Why did Lee get a Keyblade before Nominee? Can we talk about that? I don't. I is it that unreasonable? Yes. <clears throat> I mean, Nominee is a witch. Is she and, even a fighter? Uh, yeah. Like. <laughs> Yeah. She, exactly, that's what would make her interesting. Give her a keylight and she uses it more like a conductor's baton or a wand and she like conducts the memories of like past fighting skills. Do what they're doing in a Union Cross or whatever where they're using like the memories of the future of like Sora's abilities to do attacks. Like let her summon Sora's like attacks and abilities out and use them but like not herself physically or whatever. 
Like, she would, should have the ability to do that. It sounds cool. And it's super weird having Lee, I guess, Terra and Aqua are adults, but having him be, like, the only, like, good guy, adult guy using a Keyblade who's still alive, it just seems strange to me. I, I, I want all the teenagers to be fighting the system with their Keyblades, and I want Namani to have one and be unique. The first time Lee showed up in Kingdom Hearts 3 and he was just staring at Kairi with that dead stare was, it made me so, I, I, I went into fight or flight. I just did not know <laughs> what to think. My brain could not handle it. You remember when he pulled that ice cream out of his cheeks? <laughs> like whether or not it's from his cheeks or his pockets, it's both, it both sucks. Um, yeah, me when my melted ice cream gets all in my coat and it's fine. I just don't understand why they chose to depict it that way. It was so funny. Yeah. Um, Is there anything else we want to talk about before I don't, we get over I, th I think I said my piece, yeah. honestly. I right. had all of my... Uh, I, I, I'm satisfied I about it. Lightning round. Okay, we need a Cars world. We need an up world where we beat up Carl with a stick. I think that'd be really funny yeah, and yeah, wholesome. Yeah. Um... We and that's make, it, nothing else. Make his uh make his mailbox like one of those interactables you can hit with your keyblade we for need money a, or help. <laughs> we need a family guy world. Yes, of course. Uh, where um, where you fight the final where the final boss of it is the giant chicken. Uh, uh Steven Universe is on Disney Plus now, so uh, we could fight uh we could fight them. Oh my god, yeah. Who Disney Plus merged with Hulu. Bro, okay, we need a an always Fox sunny News in Philadelphia world. we need an always sunny in Philadelphia world. Yeah, right. Fox News World. Uh -huh. um, uh, uh, Fox and the Hound World. <laughs> song, song of the South World. I mean, we need a Song of the South World. <laughs> we we need we need a Dragon Ball World. That, that we need. A, we also need a Zootopia World. You know, to really get right. that home. Well, that one's just. A, I think that one's just a real suggestion. Uh, yeah, Zootopia is. I think is closer than we think. Uh, to be yeah, control. you're right. Actually, uh, Sora uses a impassioned and impassioned. Look, uh, just think get all the, the think of the light speech to get Judy to not have an abortion. Just get all the the controversial worlds out of the way in one fell swoop. You know, get the Pocahontas world in there. No, like... but I would love that. I would like. I I'd love a, <laughs> a game only of worlds that are fucking losers. <laughs> That's called Dream Drop Distance. Song um, of the South, Pocahontas, live action Mulan. <laughs> oh god, live action Mulan. Live action Lion King World, and it's just a rehash of the one from 2, but everything is weirdly live action yeah. now. God. Emperor's New Groove. Yes! <laughs> okay, but ac actual predictions, just because I know someone wants to hear it. Probably Frozen 2, uh, Encanto, Coco, please, for the love of god, Coco. Um... Hercules again, maybe. I don't know. On a Star Wars, something Marvel. Maybe just Spider-Man. I don't know. Uh, and I want a TV show represented already. Give us a Gravity Falls world. No. That's Proud Loud House. Not, not a Proud Family. Did you just say Loud House? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're banned from the channel now. <laughs> but Proud Family. Proud Family world. Um, yes. What's a Disney property where someone says, like, slurs? Or cur at least curses. Gravity Falls. What? Gravity Falls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a Gravity Falls world would be cool. It would be freaking awesome. No, but actually, uh, hurry up and add Atlantis and uh, Treasure Planet. Yes. And Jungle Book. I'm also, honestly, I'm I'm really not jonesing for Jungle Book. I I know they've I know, been trying to do it, it out of the for way. a long time. They're gonna do it at some point. But just, I just, eh. just get it out of the way. Had they missed any Renaissance movies? I don't know. Do Cinderella 3. <laughs> but actually, though. Do... Or is it Cinderella 2? Whichever one. Oh, that's all my ideas. Do... I'm really... Do, do the Dark Cauldron. Actually do that. Is it the Black Cauldron or the Dark Cauldron? Black Cauldron. Okay. Okay, we're just talking bullshit now. We, we, can, we can stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us. This was us. fun. Bye, man. Thanks for watching. You know, it'd be really cool if we could do if the three of us, us Kingdom Hearts head, could us Kingdom Hearts heads could do something Kingdom Hearts related again. Wouldn't that be cool? No.